This problem asks you to determine the rate law using initial rate data, in particular the reaction between the ammonium and the nitrate ion in water. Let's remind ourselves what the rate law is. The rate law for any reaction is this equation. It's really the rate equation. The rate of a reaction equals the rate constant times the molarity of one reactant raised to some exponent multiplied by the molarity of the other reactant raised to some exponent. What we're going to do is complete the rate law. That is, determine what k and the exponent m and n are. To determine the exponents of the rate law, compare initial rate data from two experiments. So we're actually using the rate law equation to help us determine the exponents. Essentially, we're using the properties of math to help us determine the exponents. Set it up the initial rate of one experiment over the initial rate of another experiment. The way to choose your two experiments is to select two experiments where one of the reactant concentrations is held constant and the other reactant concentration varies. In this case, we'll choose experiments one and two. You could choose experiments three and four if you'd like, or experiments two and four. Essentially, we're going to substitute all of the values into the entire rate law expression, where one rate law is in the numerator and the other rate law is in the denominator. In the numerator here, I have the initial concentrations for experiment one. In the denominator, I have the initial concentrations for experiment two. To the right of this fraction, right here, are the initial rates for each of the experiments. The initial rate for experiment one, and beneath that, the initial rate for experiment two. Now you might notice I reversed the position of the rate and the concentration data as compared to the rate law I have written. It doesn't really matter, but from this point we could carry out the math. And the math is to simplify the fractions to get one unknown. What remains is a math problem. We can see that the k will cancel out because the rate constant is the same for both rate laws because we're talking about the same reaction. The concentration 0.177 raised to the n power is identical to the 0.177 to the n power in the denominator. So that cancels out. So you're left with 0.149 to the n power over 0.298 to the n power equals the two rates that correspond to those first two experiments, 9.13 times 10 to the minus 6 and 1.83 times 10 to the minus 5. Because 0.149 and 0.298 are raised to the n power, we could divide these two numbers and get 0.5. Then if we divide the two numbers on the right side, we also get 0.5. The unknown is n. To solve for the exponent, use the properties of logs. You could use log base 10, which I did, or the natural log ln. Either one will work. Taking the log of both sides will reduce the equation to the next step which is n times the log of 0.5 equals the log of 0.5. Now I got from this step here down to this n times the log of 0.5 by properties of logs. When you take the log of a number raised to an exponent, that exponent gets put in front as a coefficient in front of the log of that number. On the right side, we simply have the log base 10 of 0.5. We need to solve for n. 
So we could divide both sides by log of 0.5. And when we do that, the left side simplifies to n, and the right side simplifies to 1, because log of 0.5 over log of 0.5 is 1. Now we could rewrite our rate law as rate equals K times the concentration of ammonium to the N power times nitrate raised to the first power. Next we'll determine M, the exponent for ammonium, using the same process as we used for the exponent for nitrate. I chose experiments 1 and 3 because the concentration for nitrite is constant between most of the experiments. I set up the math very similar fashion where I put experiment 1 over experiment 3 and substitute numbers in and the math simplifies to exactly what we had before 0.5 raised to the n power equals 0.5 it's coincidental it's not that it has to be that way and we solve for n and of course n is going to be 1 now the rate law can be rewritten as rate equals k times the ammonium concentration raised to the first power times the nitrite concentration also raised to the first power. And again, it is coincidental that they're both 1. And the fact that they're both 1 has nothing to do with the stoichiometry of the reaction. If you remember, both of these reactants had a 1 in front of them. Next, we have to determine the value of K. K can be solved using any experiment. Substitute the value of the initial rate on the left. Substitute the values of the corresponding concentrations for that initial rate. And you'll have one equation with one unknown. And K can be solved using basic algebra. 